Tracy Kidder, The Soul of a New Machine. Get ready to dive into the fascinating world of The Soul of a New Machine by Tracy Kidder. Relive the 1970s as we explore mini computers' history, particularly focusing on the intense competition and the emergence of Superminus in the market. This summary chronicles the journey of Tom West, an engineering vice president at Data General, and his team as they stealthily create a covert project called the Eagle to rival the Superminus being developed elsewhere. Despite minimal resources and low expectations, West assembles an extraordinary group of engineers, both young and seasoned, determined to design a breakthrough machine that changes everything. Data General vs. DEC The rise of Data General, a ruthless computer company that aimed solely for profits, and its rivalry with DEC, the biggest player in the industry, culminated in the development of a breakthrough computer that would change the industry for good. In the late 1970s, the computer industry was dominated by a company called DEC, which held about 85% of the market. One of its competitors was Data General, a notorious and stingy company whose focus on profits was evident in even their bleak, concrete headquarters. Its practices were infamous, including rumors of torching a competitor's factory. Despite this, Data General generated 20% profits, year after year until it grew to $508 million, landing 500th place on the Fortune 500. As the market for computers grew, DEC created a super mini computer that everyone wanted. Learning that the market would be worth billions, Data General knew it needed to develop its answer to DEC's VX machine. Engineering Vice President, Tom West, bought and took apart the VAX machine, deciding that they could do better. What followed was a ruthless competition between the two companies to develop a breakthrough computer. The result was the Eclipse MV-8000, which would change the industry forever. The Birth of the Eagle Data General's new research and development center in North Carolina was meant to be the primary site for the Fountainhead Project, FHP, the company's new super mini. However, Tom West's team in Westboro was left to work on older computers, which lacked excitement. Under the radar and with limited resources, West's team decided to build a competitor to FHP, known as the Eagle. Despite being ignored by the rest of the company and working in a stifling basement, West's team was determined to make the Eagle essential to the company's success in the age of Superminus. Designing the Impossible Tom West assembles a team of young graduates and experienced engineers to design a top-of-the-line computer that could contend with the VAX, despite doubts from others. West recruits Steve Wallach through deception and enlists every team member to agree to forsake any obstacles to the project's success. The team's enthusiasm and sense of pride in creating something new were their inherent rewards. A Motivational Pinball Game the book snippet discusses the motivational strategies used by West to inspire his team in producing quality work in minimum time. West's management philosophy of mushroom management involved keeping the team isolated while giving individual responsibilities with unrealistic deadlines to create constant pressure and anxiety. The team was motivated to launch the product quickly, and quality was not always a priority. However, the central motivation was the chance to play another game of pinball, implying that the team would have an integral role in designing subsequent generations of computers. This approach was successful with young graduates and older engineers, who were excited to work on the forefront of computer production. Inside the Eagle Project Tom West assigned two young teams, the Hardy Boys and the Micro Kids, to design the hardware and microcode, respectively, for the Eagle project. Although the Hardy Boys wanted to include certain features, West ultimately had the final say. The Micro Kids focused on creating the microcode to direct the flow of current on the circuit board. These teams diligently worked long hours to build the soul of this groundbreaking new machine. Despite being underpaid, West made them feel like inventors to motivate them to work harder without additional compensation. The crucial stage of debugging. Once the design process of a computer is completed, the challenging task of debugging follows. 
This step is essential to fix any issues before the computer's public release. The Eagle Machines engineers faced the same challenge in debugging their prototypes, Coke and Gollum. Debugging required running various programs to identify and fix errors in functionality and performance as quickly as possible. The team worked within tight time frames of just a couple of hundred billionths of a second, examining how the current was distributed throughout the circuit board by the chips and microcode. Any minor delay or code errors could cause a delay of days and nights. The Eagle team faced added pressure when they learned that the team in North Carolina would also miss their deadline, and their plan A had to be revised. The debugging process is a precise, exhausting, and time-consuming task, yet it is crucial for ensuring the computer is functioning correctly. The Eagle has landed. Despite missing numerous deadlines, the Data General team finally completes the Eagle, a revolutionary computer that proved to be a huge success and profits for the company. Although the team was not sufficiently acknowledged, they felt satisfied with the rewarding experience of working together on such a phenomenal project. The nail-biting journey of The Soul of a New Machine follows Tom West and his teams, comprising young graduates and experienced engineers' efforts to covertly create the Eagle, a mini-computer to rival others in the rapidly developing market. As they navigate the challenges of complex computer design, fierce competition, and minimal resources, the team is fueled not by monetary rewards but by sheer passion and enthusiasm. Ultimately, the Eagle is a resounding success, bagging massive revenues for Data General. While some team members go on to exciting new projects, the younger engineers continue to chase the thrill of a playing pinball, working on captivating projects spearheaded by Tom West before his departure from the company.